Welcome aboard, Captain. Hey there guys, this is going to be the final episode of our to-do list application, and we are going to uh, just finish up the delete functionality and uh, other miscellaneous things to make it look at least semi-good. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. First, a word from our sponsor. This video is brought to you by Simple, the easy way to do online banking. Sign up today using the link in the description and receive $20 when you use your card for the very first time. Simple is a delightfully human way to bank, budget, and save that helps you feel confident with your money and do more things that you love. We don't charge any fees. Instead, you get lots of more helpful things, like goals, which sets aside a little money every day for whatever you're saving for, big or small, automatically. Safe to Spend considers your upcoming payments, pending transactions, and goals when calculating what you have available to spend. Everything about banking with Simple feels smarter and more modern. With over 50,000 free ATMs, photo check deposits, bill pay, a beautiful Simple Visa card, and exceptional security. If your card ever gets left behind, just block it from the app until it's back in your hands. All that and unbelievable customer service. No scripts, no phone menus. Just real people helping you. Come say hi at simple.com. All right, cool. So let's go ahead and boot up um, our server by typing in PHP artisan serve. And now that we are on port 8000, we'll refresh and take a look at our task list. The next thing that we want to do is we want to add a little small button here that says delete. So let's go ahead and do that now. We'll go to our resources folder, views, uh, tasks, index, and then we will create a delete button. Um, but unfortunately, uh, we can't just create a anchor tag here. Uh, we actually have to use our uh, form helpers for this because whenever we pass in our uh, delete functionality, we need to be able to uh, submit with a delete method. Um, so we're going to open up a new form here and we are going to uh, pass in the route of uh, task.delete task.delete and the method is going to be delete. And we can see this uh, by typing in our, our web. And as you can see, we have a route resource task, and we're using the task controller. Um, and if we want to go ahead and view our routes, uh, we'll, I have a nice alias here of PA routes, um, or actually, what is it? Um, PA routes. Oh, unfortunately, I, I switched over from uh, bash to uh, ZSH, so we're just gonna have to type in um, PA uh, route list. Unfortunately, I haven't migrated everything over yet. So here's our, RAS, uh, our our list here, and as you can see, our method is going to be delete, and it's going to be task.destroy, so not delete, destroy. Awesome, and we're going to pass in a method of delete. And as you can see, we need to also pass in the task ID here. Um, so we need to put inside of our route, um, instead of passing the value of a string, we need to pass in the array, and we also need to put task ID in there as well. So that way it is um, going to go ahead and submit. And I just realized that we actually need to do uh, curly braces bang bang and not uh, just double curly braces. And then we're going to use form uh, close here. And we're just going to go ahead and put a button. And that button type is going to be uh, type equals uh, submit. And then we are going to just put uh, delete here and the class is going to be uh, btn btn small and then btn uh, danger and we'll save that and go back and as you can see it's saying that we have an error uh, so task.destroy i didn't spell destroy right d e s t r o y save that refresh there we go. Now we have the delete functionality. Now if we want our edit button to also uh, be on the same line, uh, we just need to put this inside of our form. Um, now because we are using a button and we are using the type submit, it will um, 
it will submit this form here, which is delete, but if we click on edit, it'll still go uh, to the correct thing because it's an anchor tag and not a button of a type submit. Refresh, and now we have the two buttons here. So let's go ahead and open up our HTTP controllers, tasks controller, and if we scroll down here, uh, we have our destroy function. So first thing we need to do is we need to look up our task and that's going to be task find by ID. And then we are going to do task and delete, delete, wonderful. And then we are going to uh, flash the session, uh, flash a session message of success. And we are going to say uh, deleted the task successfully. And then we are going to return a redirect uh, to the route of task.index. And we're going to save that. So basically what we're doing here is we are finding the specific, specific task by the ID. And then we are deleting the task. And then we are uh, flashing a session message. Flashing a session message. And then we are returning a redirect. Returning a redirect uh, back to the index. All right, we are saving that. And then if we go back, we refresh and we click on delete as soon as it pops back up delete. Wonderful. And it deleted the task successfully. And if we delete all of these tasks here, it will have no more tasks. Wonderful. So the first thing that we also want to do is, um, or the next thing that we want to do is basically, uh, if there are no tasks here, we want to be able to display that there's no tasks. Uh, so if we go to our index, um, and we do a simple uh, if play directive. So if uh, the tasks count count is equal to zero, then we're going to end if, and this is going to just be a uh, a simple paragraph with a class of lead. Um, there are no tasks listed. Why don't you create one? And also, we're going to take our for each loop here, and we are going to use an else blade directive, and then we are going to paste it into there. So if the tasks are not there, it will display the class of lead with the paragraph telling us that there are no tasks. And then if there are tasks, if the count is something other than zero, then we're going to go ahead and loop through and make all of the tasks appear. So we will refresh and there are no tasks listed. Why don't you create one? Wonderful. We'll also um, go ahead and put a class of text center here as well, just so that we can get it right in the center. Awesome. And let's go ahead and create a task really quick. Um, and we're just going to do test task and test description and the date is going to be, let's say, uh, 10, 17, uh, 2018. And we'll save the task. And wonderful. So now you can see that the task is being updated. If we go to our edit page, uh, everything is being uh, loaded in there using our model form binding. And that's about all we need to do. Now, I was going to do a, a show page, uh, but this is going to actually be your homework. And this is going, basically what we're going to try to do is we are going to search for uh, the task with the ID uh, that we're passing in using our route parameters. Uh, then we are going to uh, return a view and that view will be the uh, show.blade.php. And then we are going to pass uh, with the return uh, the variable that contains the specific task. And that is going to be your homework, guys. And 
Uh, if you have any questions whatsoever, go ahead and submit a Stack Overflow uh, question and go ahead and post that URL into the comments and I'll be sure to uh, make sure to reply to that as, uh, as quickly as I possibly can if you guys run into any errors. Um, so it's going to be up, for, up to you guys to do this. Um, we've already set up our route for this. Uh, if you go back to our routes, it's already there. Um, it is using a get method uh, to show the task and uh, that's about it. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will see you guys in the next tutorial.